Hello and welcome to another G minor tuning three string cigar box guitar lesson. So this is following swiftly on from House of the Rising Sun, which we looked at last week. And this tuning is very, very closely related to what we've been looking at in the previous several lessons, which is G, D, B tuning, which is G major. And the really good thing about this is you can use exactly the same strings. I've got I've got the same strings on that I've had for several weeks now, and I basically just knocked this top string down by one fret, the equivalent of one fret. So instead of it being G D B, it's now G D B flat. Or as I looked at last week, your tuner might tell you an A sharp instead, which is the same note. So let's just check that and we'll get on with having a go at the song. So, there's a G. There's a D. There's a B flat, or again, it might be A sharp on your tuner. And really nice uh, tuning, so it's great to go for songs that have a nice sort of strong chord sequence because uh, because these are minor or major chords, it's, it's kind of got a bit of a different sound to our standard G, D, G that I'm sure you're all quite used to. And so what better song to go for than one with a fantastic chord sequence, which is of course Sultans of Swing Die Straits, uh, released in 1978. It's not actually got that many different chords in it, but it's just a really well sort of crafted song, really nice sort of strong, very recognisable chord sequence. And the chorus riff, um, well, it sounds like a riff, uh, but in the same way that maybe sort of like Rolling Stones or some ACDC songs sound like riffs where in fact they're just like cleverly put together chords, like different sort of chord shapes. So we shall cover all of that in this lesson. And if you want to be able to play along, this is the original key, by the way, is the, the original um, Dire Straits recording. So if you want to be able to play along with that, you can also download a completely free song chart, which is up there somewhere, or in the text description, there's a link below. But let's just get straight on with having a go at the song. So this song is in the key of D minor, which is uh, in this tuning, it's fret seven, and I'm barring across all of the strings. So, I'm not gonna go into so much detail on the technique of barring. It's basically when you have your thumb directly behind your first finger, roll it off a little bit, clamp, distribute the weight across all the strings. But if you want a little bit more detail uh, on this basic technique, I will put a link to 20th Century Boy T-Rex, it's quite a good sort of introduction to sort of playing chords on three strings. So, this is in the key of D minor, and it's got a really nice sort of strong Spanish sounding progression at the beginning, at the start of the verse. Uh, the, the actual introduction is just on um, D minor. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to cover that because obviously it's... Partly a classic for all of the lead work, which, um, you know, Martin Offal is a fairly tidy player and uh, we're, we're not, we're not going to do that on three strings. We're, we're doing, we're playing, we're being the rhythm guitarist in this, this particular version. So I'm just ignoring the intro, but that's just largely on, on D minor. But as soon as the singing starts, it's, um, it's D minor, which is that bar at fret seven. And then we drop down to fret five. Now, because I covered this last time, because we're in minor tuning, if we want to play a major chord, we just need to add uh, one fret higher back in on the top string uh, above the bar. So that's a C, fret five with, I'm using my second finger at fret six. B flat, which is fret three, and it's th these are both major chords, so I want to add this extra note in. And then I'm even going to do a bar a major chord at fret two, so that's that's an A, and, and each of those has got the what we call the root note on the uh, low string, low G, low string three. So D minor, C, B flat, A. Let's just check that quickly from this angle. So there's bar. We'll roll off a little bit onto the side of your index finger and put the weight on stemming from further down. And then that's fret seven. This is C, add in this one back on for the major chord, fret five. There's B flat, 
we've still got this one on for the major chord and then A is also a major, so fret three, fret two. Now, if you know a little bit about guitar playing, uh, one of the things that Mark Knopfler is famous for is not using a pick. So I have faithfully reproduced this just using my fingers, uh, but it's basic strumming, so you can completely play it with a flat pick, um, what, whatever works for you. If you want to try strumming without using a pick, what I generally do is I, I use my nails for down strums, so I'm still catching the strings with my nails, and then I use my thumb for up strums, so I'm, I'm naturally catching the thumb with my thumb, uh, strings with my thumbnail, and so it just makes it a little little bit brighter and you want a very loose sort of floppy floppy wrist don't don't be rigid when you strum him but use a flat pick still works really well and very simple strumming pattern so I was doing some sort of percussive chops it almost sounds like a drum beat there but ignoring that we can basically go down down up up down so that's a really, really common strumming pattern. We've, we've definitely used that in several songs before. So four beats in a bar, and beat one is a down, beat two is a down, up, beat three is a miss, come down onto the underside of the strings, up, down, 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 up, miss, up, down. And for most of the bars where we have one chord only in it, that's the rhythm we're going to be using. Okay. However, the second bar straight away, we've actually got the C and the B flat in the same bar. So I'm just going to count the beats by going one, two, three, four. So just two downs for C, two downs for B flat. But when I get back to A, I'm going to use that original strumming pattern that I just did a minute ago. So that would be down, down, pop, miss, up, down, 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 pop, miss, up, down. So from this angle, with the strumming, it's down, down, up, up, down, just two downs for C, two for B flat, and then down, down, up, up down. I've actually got two bars of A, so I need to do that strumming pattern twice for A. And you completely repeat that, you do it all again. So here it is one more time. D minor, just two downs for C, two for B flat, down, down, up, up, down for A, do it again. Now, I said a minute ago that the root note is on string six for all of these. So we've got different uh, possible shapes that we can use here. So here is a different shape. Now this is an F, okay? But the root note is on the high uh, B flat, the high string one. So this is fret seven, fret seven, and fret five. So I'm using fingers for pinky finger, three and one okay now that's an f chord and it's got quite a nice sound it sort of fits nicely and i can go from that to c so the same c we were using before f c b flat back to d minor and all of these bars are going to use the same strumming pattern so we went Normal strumming, two beats, two beats, then down, down, up, up, down, and then go to F, same rhythm, C, same rhythm. Do you notice I'm doing it twice? So that's two bars on each chord there, B flat. That's also two bars and then we go up to D minor for one bar and then the rhythm gets a little bit funny after that, which we will look at once we've checked that out again from this angle. So I've just finished the main initial verse sequence and then the F 
fret 7 and 5, twice through the strumming there, C, twice through the strumming pattern, so that means it's two bars for each of these chords, same on the B flat, the B flat's fret 3, and then back up to the D minor, which is just the bar, no extra note. Now we do the rhythm, the normal strumming pattern there once, and then we go one strum. So that's a little bit cheeky. So there's uh, there's a definite, very kind of offbeat sounding emphasis on this B flat. So it works really nicely, you know, within the context of the song and also what the rest of the band's doing. So probably the easiest way of doing it is to do a single strum on the D and then come in in the appropriate place, I'll count it in a minute, with the B flat, which is back down at fret three with this extra one added, but go up, 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 down. And you, you can even punctuate it by not letting it ring so you can just relax the pressure after you've done the upstrokes so it makes it sound more punchy so it's up 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 down if you can if you were able to strum the b flat and slide up to the c it's the same shape just move the shape up from three to five so it's a little bit funny, you've got to retain the pressure. That would be ace, that's that's basically exactly how it goes in the rhythm guitar part. Three ups and then down slide. So this is one of the uh, most difficult sort of rhythmical parts of the song, I think. So I'll do it again from this angle. So we've got a full bar of regular strumming on D minor. One extra strum at the beginning of the next bar, then up, up up, down, slide. Okay, uh, the count in there is one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one. So what, what's happening there is that final down strum is on the B flat, is on beat one of the next bar, and then you slide up. And so what we can do is we can go down. We can actually continue uh, with our normal strumming pattern after that. So we can play the B flat with a down stroke. We can slide up and then do another down, up, up, down on the C. So it's down, slide, down, up, up, down. So from the D minor, we would have full bar of normal strumming, one extra strum, then up, 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 down, down, up, up, down. I'll do that again. One, two, three, four, one extra strum, then up, 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 down, down, up, up, down. Now, what happens is, uh, for most of the song, you can check the song chart for the full structure, but for most of the song, there's like double verses before it goes to the chorus. But at the end of verse one, it's a little bit shorter. So we do exactly that, and then we just do another bar of C, and then we go right back to the very, very beginning again. So that would just be extra strum, then up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, extra bar of C, and then just start again, and then this is right at the very start of verse 2, okay. Going into the chorus, we need to do an extra lot of the upbeats, the offbeats on the B flat. So right at the beginning of the first set of offbeats, we go up, 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 down, down, up, up, 
down this time an extra strum on the C and then ups. So rhythmically it's exactly the same. Going into the first set of off beats on the B flat, we had one strum on D minor and then we went up, 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 down. But this time we do one extra strum on the C and then do the up beats on the B flat in exactly the same way. So I'll just show you the, uh, the extended bit from this angle. So this is a full bar of the regular rhythm on D minor, one extra strum, then B flat, slide into C, one extra strum on C, B flat, go into C exactly the same way, an extra bar of C, right at the end and then it takes you into the chorus which is D minor D C B and then B flat that is and then it goes to the F that we were using in the verse and then F to C I'll show that first little bit again so it's D minor D, C, B flat, a little bit of a filler, and then F, another F, C. Now, there's a nice kind of flip round of the F and the C, but with different shapes. So if we move that shape all the way up to fret 10, that is an F, but it's a different shape. Um, so that's the bar at fret 10, extra finger at fret 11. And then another way of playing C is like this, a little sort of triangular shape. So uh, we can go finger one on fret nine, finger two also on fret nine, and then finger three in the middle on the middle string on fret 10. So that's F to C. F, C, F. C. And from this angle it would look like, so this is straight into the start of the chorus, so it's D minor, D, C, B flat, and then F twice C, and then high F, C. Strumming wise, I'm going to go like this, I'm going to go down, down, up, up. Um, a bit of filler really there just just to keep the momentum going so it's down down up up then on the F down down up up down up do that again down down up up down down up So they're, they're the main um, kind of rhythms, the, the, the main strums that, that kind of uh, create the, the sound, the really distinctive sound of the riff. But you can completely kind of fill that out with some extra strums um, just, just so it doesn't become too sparse. You know, so... So there's just a few extra strums in there, but um, the second time, don't go up to the high F and C, do a little riff instead, which is, you can slide in on the bass string, slide into fret 9, and then you can go 5, 7, 10 on the middle string. Four notes there, one, two, three, four. So this is just right at the end of the, the second time round the chorus riff. Still do the F and C down here, but then riff. So down, down, up, then. 
So dead slowly, here is the whole of the chorus riff. So it's one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and four, and repeat. One, two, three, and riff. So quite quite fast there. So I'm I'm sliding in with my third finger, using my first, then my third, and then up to my third again. So as far as rhythm parts go, so like I said, we're not going to be doing the full Mark Knopfler version on three strings just yet. But as far as the rhythm parts go, that is it. That's the song. So uh, again, you can follow the chart to see the exact structure, so you can play along with the original recording, which is great fun. But here is just a very very quick demo through. Verse one, verse two, chorus, and then I reckon we're probably done. So, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two bars of A there. So there's D minor, C, B flat, A, twice round your strumming pattern there. F down at fret 5 and then C at fret 5 but a different shape B flat, those two, two bars for all of these twice round the strumming pattern for all of these once round the strumming pattern on D minor but then up, up, up and then another bar of C, and then it's straight into verse 2. So there's two bars of A. This is exactly the same. All of this is exactly the same as verse 1. It's only the end where it changes a little bit. Right, here's an F. So two bars here. C, two bars here as well, and then B flat again, still two bars, and then back up to D minor, one bar with this normal strumming, extra strum, B flat on the ups, extra strum on C, B flat on the ups, and extra bar of C, and then here is the chorus. C, high, F, C, do it again, D minor, C, B flat, F, C, then, riff, and you're off again. Okay, so that's it. I hope uh, that's fun to learn. I really enjoy playing this song, so I hope you have fun with it too. And uh, watch this space because we're going to be coming back with one more G minor tuning song. Um, we can't play in a minor tuning without looking at a minor blues. So we're going to be coming back with an absolute classic and we'll see you here again very soon on Code Guitar.